I belong to a chat group of some old buddies from high school and some of them are in the US and the rest of us are here in Manila and we talk about a lot of things but more specifically we talk about the toys uh, we had uh, growing up as kids back in the 80s and the 90s and the stuff we see around the malls and toy stores hobby shops and all that and one particular subject we talk about is obviously transformers and the discussion goes like a lot of a lot of them like especially the guys who live in the US uh, talk about G1 vintage G1 transformers and how awesome they are and a lot of them spend hundreds of dollars buying these secondhand pre-owned pre-loved first release vintage transformers toys uh, not, none of that encore reissues and all that the, the first edition those that were loose um, some of them didn't, didn't even have boxes some still have boxes but still in good condition and they spend hundreds of dollars for them to, just to acquire them and I always chime in and say like why would you spend four hundred dollars on a vintage G1 Trypticon with no box no manual some missing weapons when you can spend that money on two Titans Return Hasbro Trypticons. I mean, I always chime in and say that, okay, I love G1. I grew up with this toys, with these toys. But for me, the the toys I want to collect now are the modern generation one toys, because they're just they they're just better in my opinion, because they're much a lot more fun to play with. And the debate is an ongoing debate, and we keep telling each other how good G1 is and how good the modern G1 is, vintage versus modern, and this discussion today, we'll, we'll try and talk about what's the real deal between these two toys. They're both inspired by the G1 cartoon, but somehow collectors are torn, whether they want to get the vintage or whether they want to get the modern ones. Do you want to spend more money on old toys or do you want to spend more money on the newer toys? It's an ongoing debate and let's get to the bottom of it. Okay, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Transformers lore, G1 refers to Generation 1. And Generation 1 is really the first toys produced by Hasbro, Transformers, back in 1984. Uh, they made the cartoon to sell the toys. It wasn't the other way around. The toys were there. They acquired uh, a few Diaclone toys. These were the toys that Takara, before they were acquired by Tomy, made in Japan. They were Diaclones. They had their own store and all that. And Hasbro saw them at a toy fair and they said, okay, we'll try and sell these in the US. We'll recolor some of them. And Bob Budiansky, the, the guy who invented the whole G1 mythology, it overnight, literally overnight, created the mythology of who the bad guys are, who the good guys are, where they were from, why are they on Earth. And essentially, they made three episodes to sell the toys. And that's Generation 1. And then the parents, the kids were asking, where are the, where's the next episodes? Where, what happened? And Hasbro decided, we got something here. We got, we got a gold mine here. Let's, let's just ride with it. Let's go along with it. Uh, let's go with it and make some more episodes. And they did. And... The rest is history. So Generation 1 refers to uh, that particular period in time where Transformers first appeared uh, in the pop culture universe. Now, vintage Generation 1 are these. These are the toys that were first produced. And this one is original vintage, like my Grimlock. This was the very first one um, released by Hasbro. Uh, I, got, I think got this one, I think, from Canada. My uncle gave it to me as a Christmas present. Uh, this is vintage uh, Takara uh, Takara and Hasbro uh, first release Bumblebee and the rest are reissues this is the anniversary reissue Megatron that's the Encore this is the Encore both Walmart and that one's Jap Japan exclusive so basically the old toys now these are the new ones these are the modern adaptation of G1 generation 1 characters and they appear closer to how they look like on the show They've got better articulation. They look better aesthetically. They're more proportioned. They transform okay. They have better articulation. These are from Earthrise. That one is uh, from Studio Series 86. This is from the Netflix Earthrise Megatron. And this one's Earthrise. So uh, these are from the War for Cybertron trilogy uh, Generations toys. And you can clearly see they're they're very different from each other. They're, they're from the same historical uh, background or basis, 
but they look different. And why are people interested in these toys? And at the same time, why are people interested in here? If money were available everywhere and it's unlimited supply and we had all the money in the world, all you see would get all of these figures. But why are people going gaga and spending a lot of money, first off, on the vintage generation one? And the reason is they don't look, they don't look anything like the cartoon appearance, like the, how they look like in the cartoons, nothing like, look at Bumblebee. This guy is Bumblebee. This is the toy. Even Grimlock, proportions are wrong. He's too small, smaller than Optimus. Megatron, oh my goodness, look at Megatron. It's a crappy toy, to be honest. It, it, it It's so hard to play with. It turns into a gun and that's it. Uh, he's got a lot of chrome and, and that's that. Soundwave, look at that. He's very fragile, he's very thin and all that. But why are people spending so much money on this? They cost very much because they're no longer in production, obviously. Um, they're made of uh, very strong, durable die-cast and plastic parts. Megatron, for example, is no longer being produced by Hasbro. You have to go to Japan to get one of these because of the gun laws in, in the country. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. These are outdated, phased-out toys that are just slowly being remanufactured, re-released by Hasbro. Limited quantity, therefore higher in price. But why are still people buying it if they don't look great? If, you know, they transform, that's cool, but they don't look anything like the show. Essentially, you're not buying the toy. In my opinion, you are buying something far more valuable than the toy. You are buying a piece of your childhood back. So for those who did not grow up in the 80s and 90s with these Transformers, you wouldn't understand it. You wouldn't you wouldn't understand how life was without the internet. There was no tablets, iPhones, nothing. All we had were the toys. And toys were a form of escape. You, you got a C minus, a D in math. You go home, you know your parents are gonna be disappointed. They give you a, 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 a good talking, talking down. And where do you go? Uh, video games weren't as great back then as the games today. We had toys and we would create stories. We would play with these. These were our friends. These were basically our family. And we would relive stories and how we would see the world through the eyes, through these toys. And those memories became part of that childhood which we carry today. And a lot of people say, grow up. Okay, you're no longer a kid. But that's not a point here. You are who you are because of the history, because of your childhood, your teenage years, your ad adolescent stage, your, your, your time as a young adult. You are who you are because of your history. And you cannot look back at your history and forget about it. Then you're never going to reach where you're supposed to go. Big part of who you are is your history and your childhood. In my opinion, the childhood, your good moments, the bad moments in childhood shape the kind of person you are today. And toys for a lot of collectors play a big part of that. So they're not only buying the toy, the ugly looking toy, the expensive ugly looking toy, they're buying a piece of their childhood which is far more valuable than any toy, okay? How about this one, the modern plan? The modern version of the Generation 1 characters are amazing. They take you back, like time travel, take you back to the cartoons, how you saw them on screen. It brings so much nostalgia and you want to relive that. In essence, you're also still buying a part of your childhood with these toys, but at a diminished level because this one, you had them as a kid. This time you're getting them for the first time. And for a lot of collectors, it is literally impossible to get these toys because of how it is in the toy collecting market. Scalpers, robots, hoarders, limited release, <clears throat> store, ex <clears throat> store exclusives <clears throat> from Hasbro. Um, it's very difficult as well. So they're all, they can command a good sum of money, but not as much as these figures. And the way I see it, which is better? They're both great. I personally like the modern version better. I would spend more money on these toys than these toys. However, somebody who's lived through the 80s, who's lost all his toys, who's now gotten his life back on track, he's got a great job, he's got money, wants to get that, that part of his life back, will definitely invest in this. So it just comes down to this, I think. If you're looking to get a piece of your childhood, you're looking for a memory to preserve, you're looking 
maybe an investment. Who knows? Uh, then it's the vintage G1 for you. If you're looking for absolutely amazing, playable toys, affordable if you can find them, accurate looking toys, I'm not talking about Masterpiece because Masterpiece is in a whole different league of their own. So we're not going to talk about that. We're talking about the retail toys because these were retail back then. And these are the retail toys now. You got to go with the new generations, modern G1 toys, because they're just great. They have better engineering. Sure, their material plastic is not as great as back then, but they really take you back in time. Maybe to a certain extent, as much as these guys do. That's my sort of roundabout way of answering that debate. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these Generation 1 toys. Are you for vintage, Team Vintage or are you Team Modern? Hit me up in the comments and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.